On April 12, 1987, at 8 o'clock in the morning, 9-year-old Hong Mei Feng got up early and went out with her 10-year-old brother Hong Yaoshan to the market together to buy breakfast. After the two of them walked for a while, her brother Hong Yaoshan suddenly felt a stomachache, so he ran home to the bathroom. Before leaving, he told her to wait in the same place. Saying that he would be back soon 10 minutes later when he returned to the place to look for his sister. But Hong Mei Feng was nowhere to be seen. He hurried home to inform his parents everyone was nervously looking for her traces few hours later. Hong mother Yang Yu Ching finally found her daughter in a nearby abandoned house. But the situation on the scene caused the 38-year-old mother to collapse on the spot. The little girl Hong Mei Feng's neck was tightened by wires. Her eyes could not be closed and she was lying naked in a pool of blood. A 26 centimeters wooden stick with nails was inserted into private parts of 9 years old. The stick went straight to the heart. To what extent did the person have to be frantic before he could do such a horrible thing to a 9-year-old girl? The forensic doctor discovered that the little girl had 8 different sets of teeth marks. This shows that at least 8 people at the murder scene violently abused Hong Mei Feng. The 9-year-old Hong Mei Feng was gang raped before her death. After the incident, the police arrested three suspects for investigation, and one of them met the relevant characteristics, because the other was a regular customer in Hong Father's tea shop. Unfortunately, the three suspects were released due to insufficient evidence. In order to bring these conscientious murderers to justice as soon as possible, the police once offered a reward of 10,000 ringgit to the people who provided intelligence. This case caused a sensation throughout Malaysia at the time. Many people were picked up by the Hong Mei Feng Forum. During the operation, many charity sales activities were held to raise the bounty of the murderer, which caused the bounty of 10,000 yuan to 20,000 yuan. When everyone thought the case was about to come to an end, a local newspaper in Malaysia received two letters from the murderer who claimed to have killed Mayfong. The letter was clearly written crookedly. It is suspected to be written in left-handed form. In the letter, the murderer confessed and said that he was also watching when the police were investigating at the crime scene. He had thought about it at the time. He surrendered and claimed that he and his friend had raped and killed Mayfong unknowingly after taking drugs. He said that besides Mei Feng, there were also innocent children who had been victims of their animal desires. The condition for surrendering is 3 lakh yuan for the settlement. Otherwise the case will remain unsolved forever. When everyone had no clue, the name murderer sent letters to several newspapers in English, and also clarified that the previous letters to a certain newspaper were purely fictitious, and the motivation was because of dissatisfaction with the newspaper's threefold and fivefold hype about Hong Mei Feng's murder. Five months after the case occurred, although the bounty has been raised to 50,000 ringgits, the real culprit still cannot be found.